Today we are talking salt. So what is salt? First, let's hit the beach and I'll show you how to make salt. Salt is a mineral mainly composed of sodium chloride. Let's add it to a pan, add some fire and watch what happens. It's basically seawater that's evaporated. And what's left is pure salt. These are the salt crystals. Just crush it up and you have salt. We all love salt, right? The way it looks, the way it feels, even the way it sounds. But best of all, it makes the most mundane foods taste great. With so many varieties, it gets confusing. So which salt should you buy and why? First, there's the common salt. It's table salt. It's typically used in salt shakers for baking and general salt use. It contains anti-caking agents, which helps it flow better, and most likely iodine, which may give you a slight aftertaste. Now, all my US friends will know this flaky common salt. It's known as kosher salt. This is a purest salt. It has no additives, and it's also quite cheap. Kosher salt is flakier and coarser grain. It's used to sprinkle on meat or as a cooking salt. But before we continue, I want to show you something really important. Supposing you read a recipe and it states to add one teaspoon of kosher salt. You've run out of kosher salt, but still have plenty of table salt. So you use one teaspoon of table salt. Well, here's the problem. Let's weigh one teaspoon of kosher salt. That's six grams or one eighth of an ounce. Now let's try it again with a teaspoon of common salt. See the difference? That's almost double the quantity of salt. So understand that not all salts are created equal. Even different brands of kosher salt can have different salt strengths. It's for that reason I never write salt quantities in my recipes. Because with so many varieties, it gets confusing and if you over salt, well you know what happens. So when possible, taste as you go. Did you know if you season a soup at the start, you will actually use less salt? Pink Himalayan salt, probably the purest salt in the world because it dates back to millions of years ago when the sea was still primal and it contains many minerals. It's what we call a finishing salt. Add it freshly cracked on your tomatoes or use it sprinkled over your steaks or even salads for the crunches of those salty burst goodness. Fleur de sel, for me is the best. It's my favorite. It's a sea salt that's been harvested in parts of France, meaning flower of salt. It's not cheap, but it's one of the best finishing salts, especially over sweet items like caramel or chocolate because it dissolves really quickly. So to sum it up, use kosher salt or common table salt for your cooking. Reserve your expensive finishing salts to sprinkle on last. <laughs> 